worship, glorify your name. When we consider the heavens and the earth and all that your hands have made and so magnified you, we thank you for the opportunity. By virtue of the blood of Jesus, we enter your presence with thanksgiving. We come into your presence without a sin consciousness and without an inferiority complex because you've given us power to become sons. That affords us the opportunity to come boldly. Well, we know you will hear us because we will act according to what you have written in your will. And we just thank you right now. We give you praise. We glorify you and honor you. We magnify you and extol you in the earth. We lift up holy hands, Father, without wrath and without doubt. How awesome you are. And how fortunate we are to be able to come in your presence, to humble before you. We thank you right now. You've watched over us throughout the night. You kept us. You didn't allow the thief to break in on us. You didn't allow anything to crash in on us. You watched over us. You didn't allow the adversary, I am using yours, to take advantage of our moment. Oh, we thank you right now that you give your beloved sleep. You hid us in the secret place of your pavilion, and your hand stayed upon us all night. Father, we thank you. You gazed upon us while we slept. You came and you deposited revelation and truth on the inside. That truth is your word that we've hid in our heart, that we may not sin against you. And if by any chance we have committed sin, Father, we thank you that we have an advocate, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, our high priest, our intercessor, the bishop of the church. Oh, how we love you. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. And we give you glory. Thank you for going before us and prospering our way. Thank you for the assistance of the angels. They surround us and protect us. They keep us and watch over us. We do not neglect their ministry. We thank you for them excelling in strength and might and obey the word of God. And while we speak in prayer, they carry our words and they watch over those words that you do to fulfill them in its totality. And we thank you. Father, we thank you for life. For we are in the Son. He that is in Christ Christ is in him has life. And that life is the light of the world, and we thank you for it. We give you praise, Father, that we serve you under the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus that has made us free from the law of sin and death. We thank you, Father. Thank you for the powerful declaration that you've made concerning us, that we should live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. That it is your will for us to fulfill our destiny and to live out our years. And when we come home, that we come home in a ripe old age, having none of our natural forces debated, because you are our God, the life giver. And we thank you for it. We give you praise. And we honor you right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for the mind of Christ to instruct us. We thank you for blessing our intellect, blessing our memory. For the memory of the just shall be blessed, the word says. And we embrace that, Father. Thank you for keeping us with a strong mind. Free from Parkinson, free from Alzheimer's, free from dementia. Thank you for keeping us with a mind that stays upon you. And the end result of that is that you keep us in perfect peace. Having embraced all of this, Father, it would be selfish of us not to call the circumstances that are surrounding the planet affecting untold millions of lives. And so we pray as intercessors, we step into this role now, and stand in the gap now, and we pray for all of those that are now standing on the brink of eternity, that are about to walk out misled and misinformed in many cases. Carelessness and also thought as food. Because
because the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. And the God that we serve has declared that the steps of a righteous man is ordered by the Lord. So wherever we go, wherever we, we drive, because we depend on you, you're directing us, you're keeping us, you're leading us. Away from snares, away from traps, away from the adversary, and down the path of your perfect will for our lives. Oh God, we pray today. Be merciful, Father. What is unknown to us, but known to you. Just how many more will ignore all of the warnings and all of the signs and yield themselves and step out into eternity? We pray, Father, that they will call upon you while they have a chance, while it is life, while the day is upon us. That they will call upon you when you're merciful. You're kind, tender-hearted, and long-suffering towards all. So we pray, Father, that the cry of righteousness and the cry of life will be their lives. And that you would save them. Save them from themselves, Father. Save them, Father. Let the spirit of the fool be lifted from them. Let the spirit of rebellion be lifted from them. Let the spirit of defiance be lifted from them. Let the spirit of pride be broken. And Father, bless them to humble themselves and call upon you while you are near and while your ears are open and your face is towards them. Father, have mercy today. Be merciful today, we pray, in the name of Jesus. As our hospitals across the land, around the world, began to experience a surge again. We pray, Father, have mercy. Have mercy, Father. You asked us when life and death is set before us. You asked us to choose life. And so we choose life. But we're asking you, Father, that you said in your word, if we see a man that commits sin that's not of the death, that we can ask you and you are given life. So for those that are misled, misinformed, misdirected, lied to and deceived, that are about to eat the bread of suffering and sickness and disease and about to die of death, that you will spare their life, Father. Forgive them, Father, and spare their life. Let them not lie in the bed of affliction, Father. Let them not eat the bread of affliction, Father. Let them not be reduced to rubbish. Let them not, Father, find themselves without hope and without you. And we give you thanks for it and we give you praise. Remember your covenant with us, Father. We are covenant people, bound together by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, signed and sealed by the saints. What's yours is ours, and what's ours is yours. And so we cry out for the master. Remember, the Lord Jesus was sent when there may have not been anyone that loved his father. There may not have been anyone that knew him. There may not have been anyone. You chose Mary, and you chose Mom. You chose to listen. This begun through the prayer ministry of Anna and Cindy. Just two people that prayed throughout the night and day, that never left the house of God, that offered continuously prayer until you promised that they would not die until they saw the consolation of Israel. So for some fathers who should die but are living, and for others who should live and are dying, let the promise extend now. And let the consolation of Israel, the knowledge of our Savior Jesus Christ, enter their hearts and enter their minds, and they accept you as their Savior. This is our first prayer. This is our heart cry today. This 
is what we see, Father. Bring the masses back from the break of destruction. Bring the masses back from the break of law. Bring them back, Father. Send your angels to push the masses back to a place that is safe, a place that is sound, and we give you praise. Lift the veil from their eyes so that they can see. Our sons and our daughters are no different, Father. Their innocence would not afford them the opportunity. Their innocence would not afford them the opportunity to escape. It is the prayer of the righteous that avails much. Father, let our prayers avail right now. Let our prayers make tremendous power and demands on your ability and extend your favor for our sake and for their sake. Extend the favor. Love them, Father. Be kind and merciful to them, Father. And show yourself strong on our behalf. And we give you praise. Let not the righteous be judged with the wicked. But for our sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters, remember them, Father. Remember them, Father. Cause them to walk before you as we walk before you. And righteousness, holiness, and uprightness of heart. Cause them, Father. And we give you praise, Father. And we give you glory. The cry of the people that is about to ascend is possible. They may follow far exceed the cries of the preachers. So we're asking you, step in now. Step in now, Father. And do what only you know how to do. Only you can do. It is a test of the fragments. It is a test, Father, of the ignorance and the weakness and the powerless of men. Truly, we can do nothing without you. A man cannot do anything without you. And so we pray now that you will have mercy for us. All around this world, be merciful. Hear the cry of the homeless. Hear the cry of the poor. Hear the cry of the widows. Hear the cry of all of those for whom nothing has been prepared. Hear the cry of all of those who have no one to fight for them. Have mercy, Father. Have mercy now. We call upon your mercy. It's new. It's sufficient. It's able. Father, Turn your ears towards them and be merciful. We bless you right now. We thank you. We believe you, Father. We honor you right now. And we give you praise. Oh, God, hear us now. Wake up your churches, Father. Stir up the body of Christ. Let the voice of the living God be heard in the congregation. Enter your churches again. Erase Ichabod. Let the Spirit of the Lord return to the places you are named. Let the Shekinah glory fill your sanctuary. Let your train flow into the sanctuary. Let the fire of your presence rest on your people. Father in Jesus' name. Let the bishop of the church, the Lord Jesus Christ, once again walk in the midst of his people and reclaim what is yours. They're your sheep, Father. Lord, they're your sheep. They're your people. Forgive every preacher and every pastor and every apostle that have you served authority over you, that have laid claim to what was not there. They're your sheep, Father. Lord Jesus, they're your sheep. They're your people. You died for them. Let not the hiring, let not the evil influence ones, let not the shanigans, the charlatans, let none of them, Father, cause the loss of your people. In a 
things now. Open their eyes. Speak to them in dreams and in visions. Speak to them, Father, through common everyday occurrences. Open their eyes and open their ears. Cause them to see now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And oh God, we give you praise. Father, we do need your resources. We do need your finances. We need your support. But God forbid that we should gain it on the backs of those that are ignorant, blind, weak, influential. Father, we forbid it. God forbid it. That we should prosper at the loss of your sheep. Forgive us. Forgive us, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, forgive us. Be merciful even to us. And we give you praise. Remove this. Remove now the priesthood that will not obey your order. And remove the son and daughters of Eli. Remove them, Father. Remove the priesthood of Eli and let the priests of the living God, let the Levites of the living God, once again by court wait before you. Once again come into your presence and do as you have ordered us to do. Restore the priesthood. Restore the family priesthood, Father. And we give you praise and we give you glory for it. This is our pride today. This is our pride today. Raise us up out of the grave. Raise us up, Father. Out off the dumb hill. Raise us up. Out of the ash heap. Raise us up. And bring us out of the prison. Bring us out, Father. Send your angels to gather us. And we give you glory for it. And we honor you for it. In the name of the Most High God. Father, our sons and our daughters, they do not have a choice. We make the choice for them. That they should serve you. So get a hold of them. Wherever they are, whatever they are doing, close every door, cut off every avenue, shut down every operation, cut off all influence. Now we lose a hedge of thorns around them. Let none come out of their dwelling. Bring them back to the fold. Bring them back back to the place of servanthood. We decree, this is decree that they should follow after us as we follow after Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They shall be taught of the Lord. They shall possess the great gates of their adversaries and great shall be their peace. 